Greetings, my friends. Happy Sunday night. Thanks for stopping by. So I wanted to show you the heater in action. I keep it down here on the floor on 2x4s to give it a little uh, vent underneath the stove because the stove does get warm underneath to give you a better shot. And I also keep this on it too to give the uh, shroud a little extra protection from the heat. And I want to talk about these butane canisters these things these are vented I'll show you how I know on the bottom here you see that says TSR well you'll want to look for something that says TSR or CRV something like that and it'll say that it's vented I can't get the camera to focus on it but it'll say the can is vented in case it gets too hot and uh, some of them will have a blue ring on them. Can't get it to focus. Sorry about that. But um, another thing about this butane is it doesn't work so well below freezing. You can only use it on low. You cannot get it to run on high because the butane freezes at 30 uh, or 32 Fahrenheit, something like that. You can still use it. But it's better to warm the can up first. You can do that several ways. Um, what my plan is going to be is when I get up in the morning and I push the auto start to warm up the vehicle and I, I get up 15 minutes after that, I'm just going to put the canister in the floorboard in front of the driver's seat so the heat can warm it up in the morning. And, uh, once I get up, then the, the canister will be above freezing and I can use it properly. You're not supposed to store them above 110 Fahrenheit, but since it is vented, um, I'm assuming if it got up over 110 or 115, it's going to start venting. So you got to keep that in mind also. Good news is, in the wintertime, you don't have to worry about that. don't have to worry about it getting over 110. In the summer, I'm only going to have a couple of these cans around just for cooking. not going to be heating with it because it's summer. So I am going to get a secure box, it's vented, probably a little box that's made out of three quarter inch plywood, something that could uh, contain shrapnel if the can exploded, something like I put my propane bottles in anyway. Um, you see that laundry jug, laundry detergent jug there. Well, you know what that is. Yeah, I'll give you a hint, it's not laundry detergent. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't been using Buddy Heater much. Went ahead and took the propane heater, uh, propane tank off. Just been heating with the little stovetop radiator. Got the flame down really low. I don't even know if you can see it. There you go. This stove will also accept a propane tank. It comes with a hose, but I don't encourage you to do that because it's a bad design. You can accidentally turn that on while you're hooking up the propane hose and propane will flow freely and you don't even know it it's kind of a bad design so I just use butane with it if I was in a pinch I could use a propane bottle so I've still got four green propane tanks left they're in a storage container under the bed near the back door um, I'm just gonna use the butane I'm trying to get an idea of exactly how long a canister lasts I'm thinking it's going to be about as long as a green tank lasts on the buddy heater, on low. So if that's the case, I'm going to save money in the long run because butane, you can get it cheaper if you buy it in, in a 12-pack. Um, how do you feel about carrying 12 cans of butane around, Matty? Well, the good news is I can carry a few of them here in the van and store the rest in the warehouse behind uh, my office at work but once I get out on the road and I don't have any storage facilities I'm just gonna have to have a good uh, container system to put them in with the butane you can store them on their side or standing straight up doesn't matter with the propane you gotta keep the little green bottle standing straight up when you store them don't want to store them on their side so 
just some information I'm throwing out there. But yeah, that's a lot of good heat coming off of there. And I've got it down really low. And uh, let's see, it's coming up on 10 p.m. I've been in the van since 8 p.m. And um, it's keeping me pretty toasty. Got this little USB fan right here blowing up toward the ceiling just to keep it circulating like the wind blowing through a fuselage just round and round the walls and that tends to work the best at first I had the fan blowing at the heater I was afraid it would blow the flame out you know so I tried pointing it upward someone had mentioned you know how you run a ceiling fan backward in the winter because it pushes the heat down the walls and I think this is the same principle and it seems to be working better this way I thought I'll be blowing all the heat toward the ceiling but no it it, it swirls around doing pretty good I want to see if I can get this to focus here not very good But, uh, you know, there's the label, the TSR label. Take a shot of that, pause it if you need to to read it. It just says, uh, triple ceiling rim vent release. That's what TSR means. And that's what you want to look for, something that vents. Alright guys, take care, be well, smash the bell, later.